Hello everyone. Today we're going to shoot this 1886 Winchester and it's in 5110 caliber but we're going to shoot black powder through it today. We're going to use what would have been the original loads, shoot them across the chronograph into the ballistic gel. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to load these with black powder. Now a lot of you people are probably going to think that they should just be lead bullets. Well I've seen several advertisements where Winchester uh, talked about using full patch and uh, half patch or partial patch bullets. And what it was is basically soft point and full metal jacketed bullets. And so we have one, this one here is uh, 450 grain, this one here is 300 grain. The original load was 100 grains of black powder with the 450 grain and 110 grains of powder with the 300 grain bullet. I think it was actually 290 something grain bullet. So, and then just for grins and giggles, we have a 550 grain bullet loaded with about 90 grains of black powder. So we're gonna shoot them across the chronograph into this uh, ballistic gel and just see what they do. We're just gonna have a little fun and see what the ballistics would have been back in the 1800s. So let's set up, get started and see what happens. Now when I shoot, I'm going to stand on this concrete block so you should be able to tell the recoil because there's not a good footing there. And so when I'm shooting into that ballistic gel, standing on that block, you should be able to see if I get rocked back with that recoil. Black powder is supposed to have more recoil than smokeless powder. First we're going to shoot the black powder 300 grain bullet across the chronograph and into that ballistic gelatin. We're going to see how bad this bad boy recoil is. How bad this bad boy recoils. Let's check it out. Let's see how fast it was going. So, according to this chronograph. It says that 300 grain bullet was doing 1,837 feet a second. I think the bullet come out the side right here. Let's flop this back around so we're probably not going to find that 300 grain bullet. Let's look at there. So it come in, did all kinds of mess, come up here, come out. Looks like it nicked the side of them books, and we might find it over there in the bank. We'll look, but let's shoot the uh, 450 grain bullet and see what it does. Look how that bad boy come in, arced up, come across here, come all the way over here and out. Now we're shooting the 450 grain bullet across there. Let's get up here and uh, there goes something. Try to aim this thing as good as we can. Let's go see what it did. 450 grain bullet. Let's see how fast it was going. Okay. 1,460 feet a second. We did hit kind of low. Hopefully. Straight line penetration. Looks like it went all the way through. Come 
them all the way down and hit those books. Let's see if it come all the way through. Didn't come all the way through the book, so let's see where it stopped in there. I think it stopped in the first book. Let's get you set up here so you can see it. Paint that bullet. There's that bullet right there. Can you see that? 450 grain. That'd be called a full patch bullet. So it went all the way through there and didn't expand. But that was going pretty fast and had quite a bit of power. So next up is the 500 grain bullet, and we're going to see what it does and how fast it's going. There she is. Well, there she is. Let's go see what it did. I have no idea. Let's see how fast it was going too. 550 grain bullet. It is doing 1350 FPS. Let's see. So it looks like it looks like that's it right there. There's something in there. Let's uh, look at these books. They ain't got no bullet in them. Let's dig it out of there. Oops. You can see that bullet right there. All right, one more 300 grain bullet just to see if we can't catch it in that ballistic gel. Well, here goes 300 grain bullet. I can't see nothing but smoke. check it out let's see what the velocity was a little bit slower it says 16 1687 and it's gonna be that one there coming across there doing the tumble coming up coming across And what? Coming across and what? Right there she is, right there. Right there. Okay, last bullet, 300 grain bullet. Into there, let's see how fast it's going. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Check it out and see what it did. Okay. 
Hopefully you can see that. 1773. Let's see if it should stop. I'm spiraling down there. Yep. Stopped right there. Let's check it out. Okay, let's get a measurement on that. So that 300 grain bullet, which is right straight in there, looks like it went 45 inches, and the other bullet, which is right there as well, the 550 grain bullet, it looks like it went about 44 and a half inches. So let's get those out of there and see what they look like. And obviously this one here went all the way through and this one here went all the way through and into a book, so it had the most. And this one here went all the way through into a book, so it had a, a, a lot as well. And that one, it come out of the side of this block and went out to the wild blue yonder and we never did find it. There's those bullets. This one here was the lower velocity, it went all the way through. This one here stopped in the books. This one here went all the way through. And this last one here, it stopped the same as this one here. These two stopped the same. These went all the way through. So that's pretty impressive. Gives you an idea how much power the bad boy would have had back in the day. I'll leave the energy levels down below and uh, kind of give us an idea how much energy they would have had as well. I appreciate y'all's patience. Thanks for sticking with the channel. We recently had uh, the screen on our on the phone I record with come apart, so I had to uh, order another screen and put it on there. And about make you go cross-eyed looking at those little tiny screws and trying to get them on there. But we got it done and uh, everything's working out good. So, uh, so we should be able to make some more videos and get it, get more videos going on, and hopefully we won't have any more problems. Y'all uh, might like this new shirt. I don't know, but check them out on uh i'll leave a link down below for you to check them out i feel like those black powder loads was pretty powerful the 1886 was originally chambered in 5110 and 5100 with a 450 grain bullet it was also carried to the to the south pole at, on the expedition when they was doing the south pole because they didn't know if they going to run across giant bears or what they was going to run across ended up I guess they didn't need it, but they had it just in case. So they must have thought it was a fairly powerful cartridge. Yeah, I believe they took it to the North Pole as well. But, uh, hey, I felt like it did pretty good. Had more energy than I expected with black powder and more velocity. So y'all comment down below what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Y'all come back and see us, you hear?